Good morning, happy June. It's June 1st today. It's also my very best friend Sarah's 26th birthday. And we're gonna start the morning off with going to hot yoga. Her boyfriend's gonna come too. I'm really excited to see her, but also to do hot yoga because I haven't been yet this week. I love birthdays. I love celebrating the people in my life that I love most. So I'm very excited to have a fun little weekend and I'm gonna bring y'all along. I've been kind of meh the past couple weeks. I feel like I constantly am saying this, but something is going on. I don't know. It's, it's I don't know what's going on, but I'm feeling good today, which is great. Other than I tweaked my neck, I can like barely even look to the right, like turn my head to the right, it's so bad. So hopefully this hot yoga will get me a little bit stretched out, I don't know. Man, this is like the first time it's, oh my god, even lifting up my right arm. I can't even pick anything up with it. This is the first time in my adult years that I've ever had this happen to me. And I just can't imagine what it's like when you get a little bit older and you tweak something. Um, okay, I'm gonna get ready for yoga. Thanks so much for being here. Okay, just finished yoga. It was so great, the yoga instructor that we had today also has a birthday in June and so there was a nice little segue into talking about Sarah's birthday so the whole class sorry it's so dark my camera's being a little weird so the whole yoga class wished Sarah a happy birthday while saying her happy birthday which is so cute I gave her my present and now I have to go figure out some internet shit that happened um like old account stuff so I'm gonna go do that okay my advice to anyone anywhere is don't get things put in other people's names when you're in a relationship just keep all your shit your own because now i'm dealing with this stupid internet thing that's in my ex-boyfriend's name that like i can't cancel because it's in his name and it's just annoying anyway so i treated myself to a little starbucks treat i just got a nice coffee okay i'm gonna go home and shower man oh man this is annoying i'm gonna show you what my skincare that I've been using recently, it does change pretty often just because of the nature of my job. I get sent a lot of products to try and I don't get around to trying everything. I do gift a lot of them to my friends, but this is what I'm doing right now. First, I go in with the Biosense, Biosense uh, Squalene and Hyaluronic Toning Mist because I like my face, obviously. That was so close to going right into my toilet and it went into my trash can instead. You know what's funny too? I'm always a seat down girl because the amount of things I drop in my bathroom, I'm like... Okay, so I'm gonna put this on because obviously I want my face to be a little bit damp before I put my hyaluronic on. So we do that. I don't have any sort of formative opinions to give on this. I think it's a nice mist, but I definitely don't feel I'm getting anything from it. Like, whereas the Tata Harper Floral Mist, I'm like obsessed with um and then i'm using my moon juice plump jelly this is one of my favorite hyaluronic serums i just really like the texture of it i feel like it absorbs into the skin well and the smell is really beautiful it's really herbaceous and natural smelling and overall just love it i do this morning and night down here everywhere next i go in with my eye cream i've been using the no that's not this i've been using the charlotte tilbury magic eye rescue this is a lovely, luxurious product, but not my favorite. I'm actually getting really excited that I'm almost out of this one because I'm really excited to move back to my Tata Harper one, which I'm actually pull out and I'll show you. This is the Illuminating Eye Cream from Tata Harper. Um, I love, I'm such a, I really love all of her products. I have found that they work really well for my skin and they're obviously expensive, but I, feel like I'm just invested in my skin now. I'm just, I'm there. So I'm really excited to switch back to this. Um, but this has been enjoyable to use, won't be repurchasing. So I'm gonna take some of that on my ring finger and do this underneath my eyes. Now I know that there's like a lot, two schools of thought, one school being eye cream is great, but I think for me, I probably don't, I don't know if I would use it as frequently if it wasn't so accessible to me, aka it wasn't being sent to me. I'm not sure if it's something I would invest in, but I do have, like I have started to notice like these little, you know, pinchy bits here. I'm definitely not opposed to aging. I think aging is beautiful and just part of life. 
and I think that there is so, so much solace and I don't know just like something really magical about becoming more and more like yourself with every passing year and I think that that also happens with your outward appearance as well so I'm not like trying to get rid of anything but I do feel comfort and like taking care of my skin if that makes sense so I definitely am happy to be using an eye cream because it's accessible to me but I'm not like you know you need to be using an eye cream i also feel like i don't have enough tools or i don't have enough information up here to like really sell somebody on an eye cream after that i go in with the charlotte tilbury magic cream i actually really love this and it's the perfect texture for my skin type i have very very dry skin and i feel like this is the perfect thickness but also not like too I don't know like it doesn't feel like it's weighing down my skin or anything so that goes on after I do about this much because I put an oil on top um, I always use an oil morning and night on top of my moisturizer like I said because I have dry skin I also like that this absorbs right away I find that some other creams that I don't know have a little bit more of like a natural leaning uh, like the Tata Harper cream like the rich cream I really love but it, you really had to like work it into your skin and I think I actually might almost prefer this to that one and this one I could see myself repurchasing for sure okay lastly I'm going in with my uh, Sunday Riley CEO glow vitamin C oil um I really like this if I didn't already have a backup like vitamin C product I, I definitely would repurchase that I'm gonna go into the C firma after that from uh, Drunk Elephant just because I need to use it up but if I wasn't gonna be using this specific oil like once I start switching into this I obviously wouldn't put this on top of my moisturizer I would go in with the um, True Botanicals Pure Radiance Oil. I really love this on top of my moisturizer in the daytime. It's really light but hydrating. It absorbs really well. And again, if you have dry skin, you know that you can take any moisture that you can get. I'm actually very close to being done this one. So I take like, I don't know, a pipette, a pipette and a half of that and then just press it into my skin. And like, it just makes my skin, I don't know, it feels like so glowy and hydrated. I really did I already mention this. I feel like I was mentioning it to Jake this morning, but I really tweaked my neck while I was sleeping. Like I can barely look this way. Like my right arm, I can't pick anything up with it. It's. I really thought the yoga was gonna stretch me out, but alas, it still hurts really bad. Okay, and then I follow up with sunscreen. I let this sit on my skin for as long as possible. I usually won't put on my sunscreen until like right before I'm about to do my makeup. And this is the one I've been actually using quite a bit recently. And this is the Shiseido Urban Environment. Vita Clear sunscreen. It's basically like a milky sort of white sunscreen. It's very light, very liquidy. Has like little shakers in it. Um, and this has been really great. I love this under makeup. It just it feels like almost hydrating. Like it almost feels like a second like serum or moisturizer kind of vibe. And then if I don't use that, I'm obviously using my Super Goop Glow Screen because I love her. Okay, that's it. That's all my skincare that I've been doing recently. And like I said, I, I do have some like hero products that I genuinely do love that I use over and over and over again. But because of the nature of my job, I am like testing out a bunch of stuff. Um, but I do always use things all the way through. So I feel like I have a pretty good idea of stuff that I like, stuff that I don't like, especially because I'm able to like compare it to other things. So but yeah, that's just my routine right now. I'm going to finish getting ready. Oh, I do also get a lot of questions about what I do for my hair. I just finished up my Ceremonia, like, whatever. It's like Guava Rescue Spray, which I loved. And I opened my hair cabinet to see what I had next to use up. And I really need to use up this. This is the, the Crown Affair Leave-In Conditioner. Don't love. I feel like it's, like, a little bit too thin. Like, I want it to be a little bit thicker. I do have really fine hair, so this is great if you don't want something that's, like, too heavy. But I feel like it's just, like, not really doing anything special. Like, I don't feel like it's smoothing out my hair like my hair is just as frizzy as if I weren't using it I don't know but I want to use it up so it also is very perfumey I find that a lot of their their products are really perfumey and like it smells like Dolce Gabbana number one to me which when I was 15 I was like obsessed with but now I'm not super obsessed with um and then after that I put in the Kevin Murphy heated defense leave-in 
heat protection. This I purchased myself and I love so much. It's like a foam and the smell is truly sensational. I mean, if you know Kevin Morby's products are always Kevin Morby, huh? Not Kevin Morby, Kevin Murphy. Now I'm like wondering, did I say Kevin Morby the first time? Anywho, love this because I do run a straightener through my hair most days just to like just at the bottoms to smooth it out but yeah okay that's it hey. 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 Oh, look at you going there's not a lot to do it right now anyways we're gonna make the we're gonna make the noki but um you make the cookies. You like flash them. Or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, we'll rice into here. Okay, perfect. Are you gonna rice? Sure. Potato press. Yeah. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This looks perfect. Jake, would you like some of this? I know you're not drinking. Oh, okay. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm just stuck in this weird sort of vortex of like internet comparisons. I don't know, it's been... Turns out I'm not very good at baking in or measuring it. Yeah, I'm baking and talking at the same time. But yeah, I don't know, I've just been like kind of struggling recently to feel like confident in myself and my work especially. And I don't know, I just feel like being chronically online is like kind of dangerous. <laughs> just like feeling constantly like I'm having to, I don't know. I feel like maybe I am setting on um, like reasonable goals for myself, but I also genuinely feel like I could be working harder or like be doing something different or like more creative. And so it's just been kind of challenging for me to sort of like find my groove again. Also in comparison to last year, to be completely transparent with y'all, I'm making quite a bit less money and so that has also been like a little bit stressful and I'm thinking like, oh, am I even making the right decision um, doing this and like continuing to pursue this? I don't know. It's just been a lot of self-reflection, shall I say? And half a teaspoon baking soda. I'll leave... Actually, I think she has this recipe. She did. Baking soda? I don't know. It's just been like a weird sort of time for me. And I feel, I think I, like today, after I edited that YouTube video, so yesterday I filmed a YouTube video, it was just a what's in my bag because I feel like so many people always want to see that, but I was editing it this morning and I really just didn't like how it turned out. I feel like I wasn't, I was really confident in myself when, while I was filming it, but then after, like this morning when I was, um, sorry, I'm like so bad at baking and talking at the same time. But after I was done editing it, I just felt so bad about it and like didn't like the way it looked and I felt like the lighting was weird and I feel like I didn't look good and I feel like I was saying weird things or something. I don't know. And so I definitely sort of lost some confidence in myself that way, which I think is fairly normal when we experience some sort of like level of failure 
And this has happened to me before where I just like make something that I'm not super confident in, but I would normally like still continue to post it. But I just felt like in this instance, I just put it on my Patreon so that people could still watch it since I did spend many hours working on it, but I just felt, I don't know. It didn't feel like good work to me. So that has just been, I don't know. I feel like I want my videos to look a certain way and the quality to be a certain way. And I, it feels like an impossible task for me. Like it feels like I'll never get there. And I feel like I'm always so discouraged every time I'm unable to sort of create something that feels really good and feels like authentic to myself, but also just like creatively looks beautiful. And I don't know. Anyways, maybe I'm asking too much of myself. <laughs> be cool, be cool, be cool. Bring down all the lights, let me hold you close I'm full of loose ends, will you be my role? Waited my whole life, and now I know It's a star.